Good morning, friends. Today I have a lot of work to do. It is Saturday and I am going to be cleaning out the kitchen garden and starting that over for fall. Malachi is joining me right now. We've got him in his little ring sling. Say hi. Outside, he is working on brush hogging the pastures. I actually can't even see him, so I don't exactly know where he is. But while he's working on the pastures, we are gonna work on the garden. So I'm gonna go outside and just kind of start seeing, seeing what I have to work with. Let's go see what Dad is up to. Hear lots of commotion over there. As you can see, it's just a little wild in here. We got this Dryerdale pumpkin plant growing. Ooh. Some pumpkins right there. Another one down there. And here we have a volunteer cherry tomato and cucamelons. Cucamelons are starting to kind of fill out this trellis nicely. Also got a volunteer tomato in here, as well as growing up there. And this pumpkin plant is growing all the way through here. So you can see the sweet potatoes are growing really well. I think I just planted like five sweet potatoes in here. And as you can tell, they're filling out really nicely. I really love them as ground cover. I'm pretty sure brush hogging didn't go well because I hear Chris coming back and that sound does not sound good. I know. Guess we'll find out what's going on with the tractor in a minute. with our old tractor Malachi every time we bring it out we end up having problems huh I'm the tractor. this time it is the brush hog, Twice now it's in the brush hog. <laughs> yeah so anywho I guess we're not getting brush hogging done today we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna give Malachi his milk and then I'll come back out later <laughs> oh this space just needs a lot of cleanup I'm gonna pull out one of those tomatoes which has just like a lot of disease and then this area I need to pull out the mustard greens um, and some weeds in here and just put down some fresh compost and I'm going to seed some greens and herbs and um, also uh, some radishes so let's just start by cleaning up some stuff it's actually so much hotter out there than I thought it would be. So I, after I finished clearing out what I wanted to, I picked all the basil because I'm going to make a bunch of pesto today. And I also am washing all these peppers. I'm going to chop them up and put them on a pan with parchment paper and stick them in the freezer so that we can have them all winter long. I love sauteed peppers. So let me show you what I'm working with. So this is just a big mix of sweet peppers. There's corbachis, um, there's Jimmy Nardello. These are just some wonky bell peppers, a green bell, some poblanos in here, it's a poblano, and some other random peppers. When it comes to peppers, my favorite way to preserve them is just to freeze them because they heat up so well in a cast iron um, from frozen. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and chop all these guys up. It doesn't matter what kind they are, they're all sweet. So they're just gonna taste like sauteed bell peppers when I throw them in a pan later on in the winter. So let's go ahead and get them all chopped up. Um, I harvested these a few days ago, which, um, and so they've been sitting on just the counter, not in the fridge or anything, just on the counter. And then now that I have time to work with them, I just put them in the sink, wash them all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get them chopped. I did record my process of harvesting all the peppers. 
I had little Malachi with me, so let's hop back a few days ago so you guys can see that process. I am out here in the garden. It is looking extremely lush. It's been a weird year, but August so far has been, sorry, I think it's September today officially. Well, August was a beautiful month for the garden and September is much more lush than it was last year. I'm out here with Malachi. Chris is actually playing Frisbee golf. So Malachi and I are gonna hang out together. We're gonna harvest some peppers. Do you wanna say hi, little dude? Yeah, you look sleepy. Ooh, the flies are bothering you, huh, handsome? Okay, see ya. Grumpy Grumpy Kins gave him a sweet pepper to play with, but he wasn't very impressed. Here's a quick look at the pepper haul. We have Corbachis and Jimmy Nardellos, some Pippins, um, golden honey, so Jimmy Nardellos, a bell of some kind, another green bell, and a Popolano. You like your pepper? Quick peek at the fall garden starting up. You got broccoli and cauliflower in here. You can also see everything is just super lush. Quick garden tip, if you're harvesting peppers, harvest the sweet and the spicy separately. That way you don't end up with a mix and forget what you have. And uh, it's just so much easier to prepare peppers when you know what's sweet and what's spicy. So I just picked sweet peppers. I'm gonna pick some sweet banana peppers as we walk back over. Okay, so let's walk back over to the banana peppers and I'll harvest some of those. You gonna let me harvest anything else, boo-boo? <laughs> garden falling over like crazy but open is there multi-headed which are my favorite and I found a tomato. I wanted to come over here and harvest some peppers real quick. These are the Pippin's Golden Honey. They start off purple and then they turn this color and they finally turn their right color, which is this orange color. And they're really sweet and really good. This is what I come over to. Gone for a second and then, what? Really? You get a basil. peppers finished you can see the pile of compost and I had some okra so I am frying up the okra I just chopped them up into little I don't know what you call them rings I don't know and I covered them in cornmeal and then I'm just putting them 
on a pan with just a little bit of oil and pan frying them. And then we're just gonna enjoy that for a little snack. So that's kind of what I was up to today as far as preserving goes. And I made the mistake of letting some get big like this and it was just way too rough for actual eating. So I ended up with, unfortunately, a bunch of composted ones. So instead, I'm gonna remember next time that I can't let them get big. So lessons, lessons from the garden. Still have to turn all of this into pesto, but I think that's gonna be a job for later tonight. It's a few days later and we are going to make chili, chili, fries. chili cheese fries. So we're gonna go pick some potatoes from the garden and make some homemade baked french fries and then we have some chili um, in the pantry that we're gonna put on top. Into his mouth, I mean. Uh oh. <laughs> like that, so he, he doesn't put his hands all over me. Okay, so back here there were potato plants and they've since died back and other things have filled in. But I'm gonna go ahead and dig up what's um, in just this area right here. Okay, so I've got a basket full of potatoes, which should be plenty for some french fries. And I also grabbed some cherry tomatoes. So we'll go ahead and take these in, clean these off, and chop them up. Okay, it's time to go inside and make dinner. Mmm, mm, dinner time. Mm. You're so sweet. It goes round and round In circles, but I'm still on the ground So I just drizzled a little bit of sunflower oil on the fries. I didn't add any seasoning yet. I'm just gonna sprinkle some sea salt on them when they're done. Um, I put them in the air fryer on the fries mode. I've never used the air fryer before though, so hopefully they turn out okay. Normally I just bake them in the oven at like 350 for like 25 minutes and they're delicious. But the air fryer should be a little bit faster and a little bit crispier. So we'll see how they come out and then we'll heat up some chili put that on and some vegan cheese. Got the curtains up. 